we got it. All right. Sound should be good now. <laughs> Doug, you should be testing the sound before you go on the air. Guy? Oh, well. I have a lot on my mind today. All right. How's the sound now, everybody? Hi, Louisa. Hi, Beth. Hi, Mobius. Hi, Anthony. Leanne, stranger, how's life in Buffalo? How's the weather? It's lovely here. Well, um, yesterday was my mother's birthday. God bless her. February 16th, uh, 1917. Uh, that would make her 102, except she's no longer living. However, uh, this Friday is my birthday, February 22nd, 1949. George Washington's birthday. I'll be 70. And guess what? President Lyndon Baines Johnson ripped off George Washington's birthday by creating something called President's Day, which is tomorrow. But uh-uh. George Washington's birthday is on the 22nd, not on the 18th, not on the third Monday of every February. And, and Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12th. All you young whippersnappers, you millennials, don't even know the real birthdays of our two greatest presidents. I'm ranting. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, somebody should sing happy birthday to me now. The only problem is I can't hear any of you. So we'll just have to talk about depression, anxiety, mental health recovery, all those wonderful things. Uh, laughter for you yoga, yes. I definitely need to check out your website. My son's birthday is on the 21st, Leanne. Wow. Well, 70s is new 60. Thank you, David Anthony. I'm having a big birthday party, but I'm very, very anxious and nervous right now because uh, even though the weather is beautiful today in Oregon, it might be snowing and people in Oregon can't uh, drive in snow on the 24th. So I'm wanting all of you to use your powers of visualization, your mental powers, and see that February 24th, the week from today, is going to be a nice day. Otherwise, uh, if it's not, it's the evening uh, <clears throat> party. I might have to move it up to the afternoon, which means I might not be able to be on the air next Sunday. So cross your fingers. The weather stays good. I can have my party at 6 and still be here for you. Good morning from Australia, Tim. God, it's about, what is it, 5 a.m. there? I'm very glad I'm still around to be here with you. I've had a rough week up and down, a wonderful wife, successful 18-year-old daughter, but I catastrophize about the future. Well, Anthony, you should come to my... Uh, webinar called How to Rewire Your Anxious Brain. I'm giving it on March 31st, and here's a number to call to get information and register. Uh, or if you want to, just Google Unity Spiritual Explorers Douglas Block, and the webinar will come up. Everything I've always uh, wanted to share about anxiety and how to stop catastrophizing about the future. So you might find that very helpful. But I can tell you really good. Oh, go slow, LOL. Sorry about that. Uh, at any rate, um, yeah, the key to not catastrophizing about the future is to go cancel, cancel, take a deep breath, and bring yourself back into the present. All right. Good evening from Germany, Max B. Nice to see you back. Well, Marin W., the Japanese uh, lady who's in Ireland, I believe. Fries aren't actually from France. They're made in Greece. Okay. I don't quite know what that means, but nice to see you, OG. Haven't seen you in a while. All right, so let's see if we have any questions about mental health recovery. Uh, Tim, 7.20 in the morning. Wow, that's right. They changed the clocks ahead of time. Uh, Leanne, do you want me to repeat anything? I know I went through it really, it was really quick. Anyway, if you catastrophize Anthony, just take a deep breath. Bring yourself back into the present. Feel your body and say, the future has not happened, therefore it cannot harm me. Or the other affirmation is, whatever comes my way, I will handle. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write that down. Uh, yes, you are worthy and lovable. Thank you. That's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful saying. Uh, Bito Mohammed, nice to see you again. Hope for some more jokes about Germany. Yes, I have one, Max B. You ready? Woody Agner, Woody Allen, the great comedian, said, Every time I hear the music of Wagner, I feel like invading Poland. Max B., you're probably the only person who got that joke. I'll say it again. Every time I hear the music of Wagner... I feel like invading Poland. Why don't you explain, uh, Max B., what's so funny about that joke? All right. Susan McDonald, I love you. Thank you for being here. And uh, Mobius here, you need to go to a therapist or take some medication so you stop obsessing about North Korea. That is your mental uh, habit. Um, antidepressants cause more harm than good. Well, for a lot of people, yes, Leanne, but some people they actually help. Uh, yeah, I believe in astrology, Louise. I've written three books on it. Go to Amazon.com and type in Douglas Spock Astrolo Astrology. You'll see my books. And yes, Pisces are very sensitive. You're actually right. Super sensitive. Uh, 
you're a musician. You got it. Good for you. You know about Wagner. Good work, Anthony Olson. That's very funny. Deja vu, refinery. I've never heard of you before. How do you forgive myself for things I obsess over and unforgivable? Well, I have uh, a video you should go watch. It's called, oops, I got to get closer to this, this thing, don't I? So I can reach over and type it. It's called Forgive Yourself. Uh, you really should watch this video. And not just my video, but there's lots of videos. Uh, forgive yourself for your mistakes, if I can uh, get this in here. Anyway, you get the idea. I can't type. Anyway, forgive yourself for your mistakes is the name of the video. And basically I say people are doing the best they can at the time with the knowledge they have. So that's what you got to remember. Happy birthday, Phil and Aquarian. Well, I'm a Pisces, but so what? I'm new here. Can you trust your intuition? Well, uh, that's a good question. When you're depressed or anxious, sometimes your, your, your brain is giving you bad messages. So, uh, Joyce, you should always check it out with other people you trust because sometimes you get, uh, you know, when, when, you're, when your inner voice is saying it's all hopeless, that's your dysregulated brain. All right, forgive yourself for your mistakes. Please watch that video of the person who has a hard time um, forgiving themselves. Anthony Nelson, I love your Wagner joke. Even I am a piano player rather than a singer. Good. Well, you can explain to them why it's so funny. Hey, Raven Mad, did ECT help you? Yes, it say, I won't say it saved my life. Uh, yes, it did. It got me out of a really bad depression. Well, nothing is unforgivable, Dejaru. I mean, you have to realize that people are human. Remember what Alexander Pope said? To err is human, to forgive divine. I mean, there's so many good books on it. So you just have to lighten up on yourself if you can. And I would definitely go see a therapist to help you out. Uh, can trauma, stress, give yourself what? I couldn't quite, your body, e.g. arms to feel very heavy? I guess so. I mean, trauma and stress can create all sorts of physical symptoms. Yes, Max B says, start therapy. If you haven't already, it will help you for sure. Thank you, Max B. You know, Bloch is, is, a, friend, is a German name. Uh, Ernest Bloch was actually Swiss, is a relative of mine. Very famous uh, uh, composer, lived in... Uh, the coast of Oregon. Have I heard of Katie Morton? Yeah, she's very, very uh, effervescent. I've seen her videos. She's a therapist. She knows a hell of a lot about mental health and her channel is very successful. I, I would trust what she says. Um, Leah McGowan, look up Peter Bregan. Yes, I know about Peter Bregan. I think that he throws the baby out with the bath water is my personal opinion. I think what he says about medications is true but not for everyone. I, I have a guy who's an attorney uh, I work with who uh, couldn't do squat until he started taking effects or now he can, you know, he can practice again. So, you know, my karma ran over my dog. And what can I tell you? Being here and doing this. And, hey, Ronnie Ryan, I have a thingy. I have this girl as a friend and she helps me all with my depression. But B-U-T-T, -T, I kind of like that. Reverend Ike once had a favorite uh, uh, talk called Get Your Butt Out of the Way, B-U-T. Lazy Eye Ranch, never say things can't get worse. I thought I had bought them till next last week. We had nine inches of heavy rain washed out my only road. I'm trapped in here for real. Well, Lazy Eye Ranch, maybe the universe is giving you a, a message that you need to move and get more connected with people. I would never tell anybody what to do. You have to follow your intuition. But boy, I mean, that could be one way of interpreting that. I, I've, you know, you and I have talked about how isolated you are and I know letting go of your ranch and your animals is a big thing, but uh, maybe with a therapist you can you can do that. I think that if you could find the right the spot right in spot. civilization where you'd be close to people and making connections, I think you might be happier. But again, you are the last judge of what's best for you. What do I think of TMS SB? Uh, I think that uh, I have seen it and about working about 10, I've seen about 10 people do it. About 30% of the time it seems to work, 70% of the chance not really, but there's no downside because there's no risk. It can't hurt you. So I think it's worth trying if you can find insurance to pay for it. Um, Raven Mad 9, I've stopped watching the news because negativity overkill. Absolutely. Anthony Olsen, I'm almost New zero. North Korea has not caused a problem for about 50 years. Try to plan for at least another 50 years for any problem to start. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, words of wisdom. Uh, looking forward to some more jokes. Well, hey, 1JE, wow. 
Jacob from the Great Britain, from England. Hello, what's the weather like over there? Uh, Lorraine Darcy, sometimes we need both, meds and therapy. Well, I agree, that's my, you know, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a pragmatist. I believe in, you know, a multifaceted approach. Speaking of which, no one has given me any super chat money. Where are you, David Holden? Anybody who donates even a dollar will get this amazing free color diagram. It's called Healing from Depression, Depression Anxiety, Self-Care Activities to Improve Your Mood. I spent 20 years putting this together. And look, on the other side are some very cute drawings by a graphic artist friend of mine. Fake it until you make it. Feed your spirit. Find healthy ways to deal with stress, you know? What do you guys know about fake it till you make it? It's a really, really, really good saying because sometimes you have to just act as if, you know, you're okay even when you're not. I remember I had to give a lecture. I'd never done this before, before Unity Church. And I just said, well, I'm just going to go out there, you know, pretending I'm confident and we'll see what happens. And I had a great experience. Um, by the way, a new video tomorrow, 7 a.m., does CBD oil help with pain? How many of you, raise your hand if you're taking CBD oil for anxiety. Uh, I did a whole video on that. It's been very popular. Uh, you know, it is from the hemp plant. It's not so act psychoactive. It's legal in 46 states. And I don't know if anyone's tried it, but I've helped me. It's helped me when I've woken up in the middle of the night anxious and can't get back to sleep. So a new video tomorrow on CBD oil. What is an affordable place to live with lots of resources for the disabled depression? Well, Susan Jones, uh, Portland, Oregon uh, used to be affordable, but it's, it's, the housing has gotten way up. Uh, Hawaii has a great mental health system, but again, housing prices are expensive, so I don't really know. Uh, sorry the character limit limits me from typing my story, but what happens is I get really dependent on her, and I really care about her, but she's very busy. She helps so well. I... Well, you have to realize that uh, that it's difficult to have one person be the source of all your help. One needs to spread out and have multiple sources, like you know your lover or your partner, but also your friends, a therapist, a support group. You know, you got to get help from multiple sources. I think. Bethy, stopping negative thoughts when having physical symptoms. Yeah, well, you have to tell yourself that you're, you're going to be okay. Uh, I have a video on chronic pain and depression, Hell on Wheels. You might want to look at. Um, all right, who else is, has a question? Susan, did I ask you your question? Sorry, I, it couldn't be. I couldn't be more uh, helpful on that one. But uh, where do you get that chart? From me, <laughs> from sending me your email address after you click that little super chat button at the bottom of the page. Uh, it's a little dollar sign. It says "Help Douglas Block." That's where you get it. If you send me your email address. After you make a donation, I will send you the chart. I would like to take a helicopter to get me out of here now. Our highway going up the mountain has sustained heavy damage. It could be a month or more. It's repaired. I'm scared. Well, definitely call 911 and see what type of social services you can get or 211. How can you fake it till you make it when you're terribly depressed? Stephen in Petaluma, that's a great question. Um, it's really, really difficult. But I know so many people in my groups who say, you know, I don't want exercise. I don't, I don't, I don't. And somehow they drag themselves to the gym and they exercise and then they feel so much better afterwards. Uh, sometimes it just takes an act of will, I'm afraid. But I know when you're depressed, motivation drops to near zero. So it's not an easy thing. I'm relatively lonely. My therapist is also busy most of the time. Trouble with my parents. Well, uh, meetup.com is a place where you can uh, meet people with... Uh, with similar uh, interests, and there's so many meetings all over the world, you should go to meetup.com and type in your zip code to see what you can come up with. I have a depression and anxiety support group. I uh, run through Meetup. You might want to see if there's something in your area. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to fake it till you make it, but uh, there's a guy um, um, that I don't know where uh, my good friend Daniel Kate is. From Houston, but Joel Osteen, a minister in Texas, once said when he first uh, had to minister after his father died, he didn't know what the heck he was doing, but he just went out there and just, you know, pretended he knew what he was doing and just did the best he could. And pretty soon, you know, he became very good at it. So, yeah, stay active. Don't drink alcohol, meditate. Don't define yourself by this. Leanne, you have great, uh, very, very good um, suggestions about. Um, 
ways to get over depression using um, lifestyle habits. All right, stay active, don't drink. Oh yeah, thank you, uh, Leanne. Speaking of ghosts, I self-harmed on and off since the beginning of my depression. Unfortunately, at times I have breakdown. I still do it. I wish not okay. I wish I could handle with frustration and anger different. Well, you can. You can learn to deal with frustration and anger differently. It just takes a little bit of time and practice. Um, okay. Uh, Anthony, yep. Yeah, it is hard to fake it until you make it. I, I agree with you. Oh, Max B. One euro. All right. We got the ball rolling. Well, Max, my... My favorite guy from Germany. So here's the deal. Here's my email address, douglasblock at gmail.com. Send me your email address or post it right here on the live chat, and I will send you a free copy of this chart, Self-Care Activities to Improve Your Mood. And as I mentioned, I'm giving these amazing uh, webinars, uh, two-day webinars on anxiety and uh, affirmations Type in Douglas Block Unity Spiritual Explorers right here. Whoopsie daisy. And you will be as able to uh, go ahead and see what those webinars are and how to register for them. All right. Self harm is never helpful. Yes, and you must love and respect yourself, Spooky Ghost. I completely agree. Love your videos. They're very helpful. Thank you, Lorraine. I appreciate it. I put a lot, a lot of work into them. and. If you do want to support them, click on that little dollar sign there at the bottom. And, you know, one euro, one dollar from Obia Zero. Good for you. Thank you so much. I'll send you a copy of that if you send me your email address. What does Spiritual Explorers mean? Uh, it's the name of a, of a program given by the Unity Church. They're trying to reach people who are spiritual but not necessarily religious who don't go to an organized church but are still interested in spiritual things. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an organization they created. That's what it is. And they're putting on these seminars that I'm teaching and other people are teaching through the Spiritual Explorers. So that's the name that they've given to their, uh, their thing. Um, well, you're from the Netherlands, Karen. Nice to hear from you. All right, Leanne, I don't sit here and feel sorry for myself. I do what I can to help myself. Nothing will change if you do nothing. Sometimes, sorry, people need tough love. Words of wisdom, Leanne. I'm very impressed the way you take care of yourself with self-care activities. How do you deal with the fear of the anxiety coming back when you start to feel a little bit better? Um, there you are, Moby Zero. I will send you a copy. I will email you a copy of that chart. No problem. Um, well, the way to deal with the fear of the anxiety coming back is to stay in the present, to focus on today, and to say to yourself, whatever comes my way, I can handle it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write that down. We've got two um, $1 contributions. Let's see if we can give somebody to give five. Usually, Roxana Shreef steps up to the plate. So I can handle it. Whatever comes my way. That's what you say to yourself when you're afraid of having a relapse. Okay, so I hope that helps the person who's afraid of having a relapse of anxiety. Thank you for leaving your, uh, your um, Raven Matt. Thank you for leaving your, um, your email address. I appreciate it. Does CBD actually help Jimmy? It helps some people, absolutely. How do you deal with lack of energy and tiredness? I feel so tired off, and this is chronic pain, makes it hard to focus. You're right, you're absolutely right. Chronic pain's a bitch. Thank you, Julie Miller. You're more than welcome. Uh, here's my email address, Julie. Send me a copy of your email address, and I will certainly more than happy to go ahead and uh, send you a copy of the um, spiritual, ex the uh, not spirit, the uh, Self-care activities to improve your mood. You're more than welcome, Judy. Uh, so, yeah, tiredness, see what the cause of it is. Sometimes depression, Max, if you get the depression treated, your tiredness will go away. Otherwise, you can um, check out, there might be medical causes. You might have low thyroid. 
uh, you got to just go ahead and, and look at all the possibilities. Also, when you exercise, you actually get more energy. Mobius Zero, I would definitely suggest you, you check out psychiatric help. Uh, there, there is a medication called Luvox, L-U-V-O-X. It helps people with obsessive thoughts, which is what you're dealing with. There's also a book called Brain Lock, but there is help out there. Lorraine Darcy asks, can holding emotions in? Uh, can holding emotions in or not facing reality cause anxiety? Yeah, I mean, when you hold emotions in, emotions are energy in motion. It's best to express them if you can. You don't watch the Hard Cell Channel News? Well, good for you, Raymond Ed. Uh, excellent. Luis Corrales says, I'm scared of rapists and drug dealers from Mexico. I'm sorry to hear that. Is that where do you live? Are you in America or are you in Mexico? I mean, I, you know, there's a lot of violence in Mexico, so that is something to be scared of, I understand. Leanne McGowan says, I have low thyroid. Uh, Leanne says, what does Leanne say? <laughs> I, just, I just missed her. Uh, what do I do daily? I exercise, I eat well, I meditate, and I work on my YouTube videos. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, Luis. I, I hope you're safe. Yeah, you, Leanne is right. Low thyroid can make you tired. That's why, Max B, you should definitely get a thyroid test, check for T3, uh, and work with your doctor. How do I come, overcome health anxiety? That's a really, really hard one. Uh, you just have to keep telling yourself that you have to keep telling yourself, oh, hell, I'm well. And just tell yourself that, you know, these are imagined things and you're going to be okay. And, you know, if you need to get tests uh, to just to show that you're okay, maybe that would help. But health anxiety can be really pernicious. Uh, do get help at Mobius Zero, says Anthony Olson. I agree. You're right. Everything's sorted of all in terms of blood tests. It's the depression, the chronic pain. Yeah, well, chronic pain can make you tired. Have you ever tried CBD oil? Or is marijuana legal? Is medical marijuana legal in um, Germany? Because I know many people who have smoked medical marijuana when they have cancer to deal with pain. It's completely legitimate and legal in some parts of the United States. All right, Lazy Eye Ranch. You have to focus on the things that can bring peace. It's not, if not joy, yes. Oh, you like Ella Fitzgerald? So do I. Hey, oh, hell, I'm well. Good for you, little guy. Nice to see you, Nicole. My social anxiety goes away and then comes back. It is frustrating. Well, it's true with all mental health issues. Karen, I'm German. Your English is great. It is. Although I thought Karen was from the Netherlands. I now live in New Mexico and the border threat is fake news. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this whole building of a wall is nonsense. Well, your parents love Fox News and you can't escape it. Well, then you'll just have to retreat to your room or, or just put earplugs in or just tell yourself you're going to ignore it. CBL does help you a bit. Anthony Olson, what do you use it for? Moby is zero. The way not to be scared of Koreans is to say, I am safe. I am safe. All is well. Keep telling yourself that. We need a joke. Oh, my goodness. Every All the serious news about... Mexico and violence and what are we going to do? Well, we're going to look at a joke right here. If I can get this book right side up. I need to have a title on it, don't you think? Well, what's the difference between the bird flu and the swine flu? One requires tweetment and the other requires oinkment. Here we are. Can you see this? A little bird and a, and a pig. One requires tweetment for the bird flu and the swine flu, requ swine flu requires oinkment. A five-year-old sent that to me. And there you have it. You know, I wondered why the ball was getting bigger and then it hit me. All right. Uh, Louise Aline, sad girl, what can you do against self-harming, self-damaging every possible way? Self-hate, what can I do about it? Therapy, therapy, Therapy. Uh, we have had people in my groups who have cut themselves, but 
it's all about learning to love yourself, forgiving yourself, and learning. You should do something, uh, if you can, Louisa. Lu Louisa. It's called DBT. I highly recommend you look it up. It's called Dialectal Behavioral Therapy. Go look that up. See if you can get into class. They teach you skills to have alternative uh, things to do when you feel like harming yourself. It's a really amazing technology. DBT, that would be perfect for your situation. My blood values are fine, says Max B. Physiotherapy and acupuncture, well, that's great. You're doing good work, Max B, and taking care of yourself. Leanne, take life by day by day. Don't look back to the past or the future. Live in the present. My anxiety is basically gone. Nice work, Leanne. Uh, how to deal with social anxiety at parties? You just have to basically um, start with smaller groups and build up. And also go to a therapist who specializes in social anxiety. Susan Jones, does depression and anxiety make less resolve? I really struggle doing the things I need to do. This wasn't the case. Maybe it has to do with age. No, it's not age. I'm 70 and I'm a fearless warrior. I just run out in the middle of the street and say to the cars, I dare you to hit me. No, I don't do that. That's stupid. Um, I remember when I was really depressed, um, I, and I was in Berkeley, and my best friend Stuart pushed me out into the middle of the oncoming traffic and said, put him out of his misery. Wow. I said, what the hell are you doing that for? As I jumped away, he said, see, you do have a will to live. You got out of the way of the cars that were coming towards you. He was absolutely right. All right, so... Uh, Yes, 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 Susan Resolve, using Susan Jones. Yes, depression makes you have less resolve, but it's not has, it doesn't have to do with your age. It has to do with, with the illness. Treatment, treatment, and treatment, or tweetment, 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 as the bird said. Yeah, the Japanese people are not afraid or feel threatened by Korea, that's for sure. Uh, go to another room, or your, your own room, earplugs. Thank you, little guy. Good, 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 uh, good um, ideas. Here in Holland, we buy the wheat in the store. I think you mean the weed. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, by the way, here's a joke from somebody. Uh, why did the cow return to the marijuana field? Because the pot was calling the cattle back. All you English speakers who know idioms should get that one. Why did the uh, cows return to the marijuana field? Because the pot was calling the cattle back. Raise your hand if you thought that was a clever pun. And by the way, we have it's flu season here in, in Portland. What did one elevator say to the other? I think I'm coming down with something. All right, enough dumb puns. Uh, all right. Um, Leanne, oh, politics, yeah. Hi, Karen, says Louisa Aline. The border threat is a total straw man. A snake oil salesman is trying to get us to pay for a wall that he said Mexico would pay for. Anthony, I don't talk about politics, but I'll say thumbs up. Susan McDonald, $1.99. Thank you so much. Monitors, do they really help? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They take your mind off the past and the future and in the present. And a mantra can be anything like, I am at peace. I am at peace. I am at peace. That's a mantra. And by the way, I thank you for contributions, uh, Susan. If you email me, I will send you a free copy of this Self-Care Activities to Improve Your Mood. It's a really, really good resource. And if you want to know my email, douglasblock at gmail.com. Okay, let's take this joke book out of here. You, know, you guys sent me some uh, jokes the other day. What do mermaids wash their clothes with? Tide. Very funny. All right. We now have 57 people watching, and we are halfway through, 29 minutes and 52 seconds. Uh, definitely could use some more contributions. I have to pay for my party. I'm getting it catered. Uh, where do asteroids go to exercise planet fitness? Oh, that's very good. Oh, Anthony, go ahead and send me your address. I'm going to send you a chocolate truffle for that one. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut and paste that one. That is so good. All right, let's come back here. Thank you, Anthony. That was a very, very clever joke. All right. 
let's not talk about politics. I agree with you, Leanne. It's something that people don't agree with, although all my friends agree. We're all progressives from the 60s. But yeah, uh, Louis and Karen said, Karen, best Bunch for dich? Well, don't speak German, even though I am German. Moby Zero, I would not worry about whether people are screwed up. I would just worry about yourself. It's, you're driving yourself crazy. Uh, okay, you guys are talking, uh, uh, you're talking German to yourself. All right, you can carry on your private conversation. Thank God I found you, says Denise rather Ledoux. It has been very helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, Denise. I always appreciate hearing good things from people. If you feel like uh, hitting that little uh, super chat button and helping us pay for all these videos and the editing and the filming, that would be great. As I say, I think you can start at 99 cents. I think they'll let you go that low, but I'm glad things have been helpful. Uh, my birthday is February 22nd, George Washington's birthday. It's in five days. Again, don't believe President's Day, you guys who are born, you know, after 1970. George Washington was born on February 22nd. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12th. There was no such thing as President's Day. It's a made up holiday. And so forget it. Yes, but I'm, my birthday is in five days. Thank you for asking. A good big party on Sunday, weather permitting. Pray, 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 pray for good weather, all you guys. You can really help me out. All right. Both of my neighbors are Mexican nationalists who perform marijuana. They aren't legal citizens, but they bother no one. I feel safe because they're here and no one out here before them. Uh, cool. Glad, I'm glad you've got some company. Honopono. Sounds like a, 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 a Hawaiian name. By the way, I have a new client who said that Hawaii has an amazing mental health system. So if, if you can afford it, go to Hawaii and you've got really good mental health care treatment. Anyone else wish they weren't born? Not me. You know, you should you should go ahead and watch it. Some wonderful life, Moby Zero. Granny going on moms for dinner. Take care, everyone. It does get better. Leanne, you are a role model. Thank you so much. And depression survivor. Yep, that's what I say in my videos. Thank you. I think I get depressed also because of benzos. Well, if you're on benzos and they're making you depressed, talk to your doctor about it. Bobby Wilson, nice to see you. I have a good friend named Bob Wilson, but that, I know that's not you. And Mina Nabil says, hi, I single. Well, that's good for you. I'm, I hope you find a partner. <laughs> Alleycat314, I'm so frustrated. I get nervous about being nervous, which triggers my fight or flight because I know I'm sweating. It's a vicious cycle. You know, you should watch my video and attend my seminar. The video is called How to Rewire Your A and X I U U S. There is right there. How to rewire your anxious brain. All right. Uh, I don't know what a PO box is. I'm afraid of panic attacks. Well, just stay in the moment and breathe and tell yourself you can handle it. I'd also get some good counseling. The Japanese people are not afraid. Okay, that's good. I don't wish that I had never been born, but I do wish I could go back in time and fix some other stupid things. Guess what? Anthony Nelson, we all have done stupid things, but a life lived with regrets is a sad life. So again, it's all about forgiving yourself. Nice, David Anthony uh, Burton. What do you laugh about? Did I say something funny? Uh, watch for comedians and make jokes of Korea. Thank you, Max P. I'm sure there's somebody. Uh, did you hear about the bird VD? It's a canarial disease called the chirpies. Sally is untweetable. God, you must have gotten this from your father. I'm going to say this to my group. They're going to throw rotten tomatoes at me, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Planet Fitness. Very good. I love it. All right. Mobius, please control yourself. If you, st if you don't continue to, if you continue to make hateful statements, I'm going to have to put you in timeout. Okay? Because I have the ability to do that. So 
you know, just try to con contain yourself because people have really important things to ask here and to say here. So I'm giving you, like we do in the classroom, a, a warning. Okay, Movius here, I'm going to put you in timeout until you can be a little bit more positive. So uh, maybe when you feel a little bit more in control, you can come back again. Danny Elson, nice to hear from you. Uh, Karen, sad girl, I don't know what you're referring to. Happy birthday, Doug. Love your channel. Thank you. Well, of course, Leanne, you and I have conversed many times on, on comments. You and I have been connecting for about five years. Yes, happy birthday. How do you make your living? Um, I like to rob banks. That's what you, because Willie Sutton said that's where the money is. No, I don't do that. I make my living through running groups, through tutoring, through getting royalties from the 11 books I've written, and from Google that gives me some money for uh, putting up these YouTubes based on how many people watch these. So guess what? You guys subscribe. I don't know if you've all subscribed to my channel, but that would be a really good thing, really good thing to do. March 14th, same as Albert Einstein. You are. It's a good birthday to be born on. Uh, yeah, Hawaii is awesome. I went on my honeymoon there. I mean, how could you not like paradise, huh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Why are you calling yourself Karen? Question mark, question mark, question mark. My birthday is March, but I'm not getting looking forward to it. I feel like I'm not progressing. I know you are. Marin, there's got to be hope. Uh, I know you're in Ireland, but have you tried TMS? Do they have it there? Susan Jones, Mobius Zero will be sending you positive thoughts. Yep. Mobius is taking a little bit of a time out until he can uh, uh, contain some of his negative emotions. Thank you so much for being here, Susan. You're open and honest about your struggles, which take a lot of courage. So helpful. God bless. God bless you, too. All right. Allie Katz says, thank you. Do I have a P.O. box? No, but would you like to send something to me? If you email me, I'll give you my address. I don't give my address out in public, but send me an email. You must confront your fears to overcome anxiety. Thank you, Luis. Absolutely. Uh, do you, how do you not get depressed working with somebody depressed negative thinkers? Well, in my groups, we tell stupid jokes a lot. That's how. Uh, time for another stupid joke here. Laugh Out Loud book for kids. Oh, got some post-it notes. What does the computer do when it's tired? It crashes. What do sea monsters eat? Fish and ships? Oh my goodness. These were written by five years old. Don't you love it? Anyway, that's how I don't get depressed. Uh, I also exercise a lot. Good question, Susan. Well, let me tell you something. The people I work with get better. That's how I don't get depressed. Because they come into my groups, they want to get well, they work at it, and they support each other. So, you know, if everybody were just a downer, I would get depressed. But the people I work with personally get better. And so have a lot of you. All right. Any experience with special diet to help with depression? Well, that's funny you should mention that. I just saw a video about it. I'm going to make, uh, uh, I'm going to make a video based on this video. But it basically is a void junk food, sugar, uh, saturated fats, and uh, vegetables uh, have very, very good um, properties. But I'm, I'm not going to say anything more about it until I, I watch this video. So, But I think diet does have an effect. Fish, 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 omega-3 fatty acids, very helpful. Child PTSD is difficult. Any suggestions on how to reduce it? Yeah, uh, go to a therapist who specializes in PTSD. Uh, that was a good question, Louise Celine. I will uh, go ahead and, and do some research. I'll watch this video and report back. A song would tell me fight depression was Peter Gabriel's Don't Give Up Feet, Kate Bush. The song is about unemployment, but it can apply it to depression as well. Thank you. What about uh, Billy Joel's Second Wind, huh? You know, that's an amazingly uplifting song. It was actually made uh, to help people who were despairing, and all the money he made from this uh, this song, it's only you're only human. It's second wind was given to the National uh, Teenage Suicide uh, Prevention Helpline. So he donated all that money. Good for him. Louisiane Sadgirl, are you German or from the Netherlands? Actually, that joke came from the man who was my first love. He was so funny, like Robin Williams. I adored him, but he died before he got married. Wow. That's tragic. I feel really sad, Lazy I Ranch, hearing that. You deserve happiness. Masood, nice to see you again. Hello, everybody. 
I can relate, says Susan Jones. I'm from the Netherlands as well. I love Holland. Uh, tell me a funny joke about uh, a, a funny joke from Holland. I would love it. Uh, Laugh Out Loud book is good. You like that? Do you take anything? Well, I don't know. Fire Magic, I need to go to bed. It's late here. Bye, everyone. Well, it's only about, what is it? it it's not even 10 o'clock. Well, I guess you go to bed early. Rent in Dublin is so expensive to afford medical for my depression. I've been taking magnesium and vitamin supplements. It helps a little bit. Magnesium, magnesium is very good for anxiety. I eat a lot of sardines in Rent W. They're cheap as heck, and they have wonderful omega-3s. I don't know what bromem 3 milligram is. Um, here you guys are speaking German again. What kind of music like uh, Douglas? Music from the 60s, The Doors, Beatles, uh, and I also uh, like classical music, Mozart especially, Bach, Beethoven. Um, I like jazz, Miles Davis, John Coltrane. Uh, I just saw my favorite folk artists are Bob Dylan and Joni Mitchell. I just saw a great movie called Joni at 75. All these artists came together and celebrated her birthday. And so a week from today, there's a big party in Portland called Dougie at 70. I'm going to write that down. We're going to do a documentary on it. A good friend of mine is going to film it. I'm going to release it just for you guys. Whoops, I can't even type, can I? This film is going to be called Dougie at 70. And uh, keep your eyes out for it, except I can't type. OK? The new documentary, Dougie at 70. Watch for it. Of course you love the doors. They were geniuses. Louise Aline Sadgirl, from Germany, next to the borderline to the Netherlands. Can high blood pressure be misunderstood as panic? Well, high blood pressure is normally not symptomatic. I have high blood pressure. Normally it doesn't cause any symptoms. Uh, three milligrams of lorazepam. Wow, one milligram, that's good. Good that you're going down it. I take Wellbutrin, it helps a lot. It's good antidepressant, Susan Jones. Great song, a sad but beautiful song on the topic of unemployment. It's called Jolie Louise by Daniel Lyons. Yeah, uh, thank you. Remember, Dougie at 70 is coming out. <laughs> Listen to a lot of Jordan Peterson lectures at the moment. I like his way of connecting mythology. He's a very smart man. Good understanding of some fundamental concepts. Yep, he's a very popular person, too. Why are the Dutch so tall so they can keep their heads above sea level? That was funny. How often would you recommend going to therapy to control anxiety? It's hard to find a therapist at regular openings. A weekly would be good. Of course, you're into psychoanalysis like Woody Allen five times a week, but that can get expensive. Sad girl, I'm in Rotterdam. Okay. And Karen, why do you have three question marks after your name? It's 44 minutes after the hour. We have 48 people watching. I would still like another uh, um, donation in the uh, donation Super chat button down in the, uh, as you're looking at your computer, it should be in your lower left-hand side, dollar sign. Uh, we're trying to get $40 a Sunday. We haven't gotten close to that. I don't think we've even hit $10. Uh, yeah, $2, and we've had a, a one and a two and a one. Well, we're a little bit behind schedule, but, you know, anything you can contribute, I appreciate all the three of you who did contribute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What if this is good as it gets, Jack Nicholas Jickelson, but I understand what you're meaning. It was a good, very good film. Time for some hmm. Very good book, don't you think? Where do trout keep their money? In a river bank. This, I think, is good. What did the worm say to her daughter when she came home late? Where on earth have you been? <laughs> God, that just made my day. I'm going to tell that to my group. Um, Karen, it is difficult to wean off benzos, even in small doses. That's true. I'm ex -Zaried. I'm going to a clinic for the last one milligram. I had an insult before. Yep. Now that's a cracker. Thank you, David Anthony Burton. I think you liked it. And Louise, he smiled at that joke. What did the uh, earthworm say to her daughter? Where on earth have you been? 
Luis Corrales is always giving good, good, good comments. Well, we have 45 people here. Five dollars, Roxana Sharif comes to the fore again every week, except it's five pounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear. Have I ever sent you my uh, this? Have I ever sent you a copy of this? Uh, I don't think you th I even have your email address, Roxana. Why don't you go ahead and uh, send it to me? Again, I want to tell you about two webinars coming up, How to Rewire Your Anxious Brain and also The Healing Power of Affirmations. If you want to learn more about them, you should just Google Douglas Block Unity Spiritual Explorers or there's actually a phone number you can call. If I can find it, here it is. 720-636-1738. Uh, you can talk to a live person and they will talk to you about my webinar on anxiety and my one on affirmations. 720-636-1378. All right. What else do you guys have to say? Another $1.99 from Susan McDonald. Thank you. Lazy Eye Ranch, it's got a neat Zydeco sound. I think Daniel Lanoa is from Louisiana. He sings in English and French. The song has both and tells a story. <coughs> How can I send money? How can you send money? Mm. So Karen, you can either do what Susan did. You can click on the Super Chat button in the lower left. It'll say how much you want to contribute. Or you can simply go to paypal.com and go ahead and you can go ahead and uh, open an account. It takes two minutes. And then you can send money from your checking account directly to my checking account by, by sending it to this address, douglasblock at gmail.com. So... Uh, Karen, you can either do it right here on, on, using the Super Chat button, the dollar sign, or you can uh, go to PayPal, set up an account. It takes a minute to link it to your checking account and then send some money to me directly. Choose family and friends. Otherwise, PayPal will take a cut out of it. Left of texting, dollar sign, tap. Thank you, Lagai. Uh, Karen, have you been able to find that? Ronnie Ronan, I would love to travel to Holland one day. Wouldn't you? It's pronounced as wouldn't you. Yes, I went to Amsterdam in 1982. I love uh, Van Gogh. Uh, that's how you're supposed to say it, is Van Gogh. How do you pronounce his name, you, you Holland folks? But uh, he's my favorite, f favorite uh, 20th century artist, except I don't think he was around the 20th century, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, there's a great film on him called Lo Loving Visit. Loving Vincent in a doc in another film called At Eternity's Gate. I highly recommend that you watch those films if you want to know about Van Gogh. What a tortured soul, but what a brilliant artist. He wanted to be a minister. He wanted to help people. And it's funny, he only sold one painting in his life to his brother. And now uh, Sunflowers was bought at a Japanese auction for $39 million. Sometimes genius is not recognized in its lifetime. How many times have you been to the UK? Once in 1982, I lived in Finhorn, Scotland. You can find it. You can't find the little dollar sign. It should be right there. Well, go to paypal.com and, and send me money through there. Seriously. Next, next to your text tag, right hand side. Maybe, are you on a mobile phone, Karen? Maybe that's the reason. Usually uh, mobile phones have some, some problems. But again, uh, go to paypal.com. And you can send money to anybody anywhere in the world instantly. It's a wonderful service. Right hand of the dollar sign. Sorry, okay? So you guys can try to help Karen find that button. Anyway, Vincent van Gogh or van Gogh from Holland, an amazing painter. Uh, you guys from Holland, raise your hand. Have you been to the van Gogh Museum? Uh, I have. In 1982, I was floored. Well, that sounds like a good joke, doesn't it? Uh, what did the mob say to the broom? I was floored. I, I come up with a joke, will you? Going to bed now. Thanks and good night. Well, you have a great sleep, uh, Max. Good luck in dealing with your chronic pain. And, and, and listen to my video called Depression and Chronic Pain, Hell on Wheels. Maybe you'll get some insights. 
Yeah, you can make an account. Uh, Karen, all you have to do is go to PayPal.com and they'll ask you to hook up a, a valid checking account. You give your um, routing number and your account number and there you have it. I live in an island 11 miles long in the South Pacific. No access to decent doctors or therapists. Wow, but the weather must be nice. <laughs> uh, music is what helps me the most now, says Lazy Eye Ranch. Helps me keep my mind off negative crap. I love hearing new artists. The one on Saturday Night Live last night was wonderful. Reminds me of Prince. Hi, Douglas. Last year I suffered from depression. That's how I got into contact with you. Now I'm free from the sickness. Sleep seems to have been cured along with other things. How to avoid relapsing. Do what you're doing. Practice these things. Do these self-care activities. Get sleep. Get connected. Get engaged. This will help you. Uh, Martin Pease. I'm a textbook case of adult that has lived with acute ADD since early childhood, diagnosed with clinical depression. It's been hell since I've just about had enough. Any hope? Of course there's hope. Uh, you know, there's lots of medications for ADD and there's also behavioral things. Uh, and the same thing with depression. So there are treatments for these. You just have to hook up with the right people and get the right treatments. Um, anyway, a monk or an RTV, just go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Do healthy lifestyle habits. Stay connected to people. So, uh, yeah, Martin, go get my book, Healing from Depression. If you really want to know, I, I, put, I haven't even... Everybody who has gotten this book has told me it's so helpful. Healing from Depression, 12 Weeks to a Better Mood. Go on Amazon.com and you can pick it up right there. Eight minutes left. I would at least like to break the $10 range. We've, we're kind of low on the contributions today. Maybe there's something about the end of February. Susan Jones, Van Gogh's paintings movie to tears when I see them in person at the galleries. Yes. What a what an amazing soul he was. I would have so much liked to meet him. Go watch at Eternity's Gate. Uh, William Defoe uh, plays Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Never seen anything like it. So if you if you're a Van Gogh fan, uh, rent this film on Netflix or Amazon Prime, and I highly recommend you'll be moved by it. My CBD class instructor uses your YouTube site? Well, great. Tell them about the book. That's really good. Uh, Marie Hayes, nice to see you. Uh, Luis Carlos, Susan, the biggest realization that as a therapist cannot be there at 3 a.m. when anxiety strikes, you must use the force. Yeah, you should check DBT. Read about it on Wikipedia. Well, look, I, I'm telling your CBT class instructor, I'm, I'm uh, very honored that he uses my YouTube site. Have you heard of Charlotte's Web CBD oil? Guess what? I'm going to start using it. I heard it helps with blood pressure. Uh, ben, have you tried it? And, it, it's an, and is it a good company? Yeah, I hear these people are doing it for the right reasons. I researched it, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to go to their website. Happy birthday, you Ben Malcolm, and thank you for your generous contributions in previous chats. Someone gave $10, and I really, really appreciate it, whoever that was. Um, is it really late there, Fire Magic MSP? It can't be more than 10 o'clock. Rent and Dumbo is too expensive for medical help. Yep, yep, oh, that's an earlier thing. Okay, let's go $10 from Eggs, Eggs and Girls. Supporting all who are helped by this live chat. What a sweetheart uh, you are. Uh, and what a funny, what a cool little name, Eggs and Girls. And I love your little logo with the stars. Anyway, I would love to send you a copy of this. And because you hit the $10 mark, I would love to send you a free ebook of my, my memoir. When Going Through Hell, Don't Stop. Right there. Uh, send me your email address. This is all about how I overcame clinical depression in 1996-97 and I was healed by prayer. Thank you for your generous $10 contribution. Much appreciated. All right. What happened to Mobius Zero? I only hit him for 300 seconds. You think he'd be back by now? CBT is very helpful. Yeah, thank you, eggs and girls. I love your name. 
A thousand CDs, I can't do boredom, says Nigel Dallas. Yep. Egg girls, eggs and grits. God, I can't even read. I'm sorry. I need new glasses. As in breakfast in Tennessee, from which the roundel comes. Thank you, eggs and grits. I said, girls, I, I might, I, my glasses are really going bad. Is a copy of your book included in a certain donation? Uh, well, for the ten dollar donation, yes, the 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 ebook comes there. Otherwise, you get a uh, you get one of those diagrams. It's the ebook, uh, and that's because uh, Eggs and Grits is getting it because he she went ahead and gave a ten dollar donation. But yeah, otherwise you can buy the book for two dollars and ninety nine cents on my website healingfromdepression.com. It's virtually costs nothing, but it's a really inspirational story. Everybody who's read that loves it. Do anything about lemon lemon bomb? Nope. I know it smells good. Music keeps me from going completely insane. You're right, Lazy Eye Ranch. It does. I still think you need to get more connected socially. Um, where are you from, Nigel? My husband's name is also Nigel. He's from the UK. Uh, named after a famous F1 driver. Well, Nigel Short is a great chess player. Nigel is such a UK, a British name. Oh my God. Look up Nigel Short. He's a brilliant chess player. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, if you go to healingfromdepression.com, which is down here, which fell. Let me see if I can get it. Nope, not going to work. Go to my website, and you can pick up that. Oh, just go to amazon.com. Yeah, just go to amazon.com and just buy it there. It's called When Going Through Hell. H E L L. When going through hell, don't stop. All right. Go out and invest a few dollars in a good dinner for yourself. Not a life changer, but a tiny bit to help your mood. Uh, Mugby Zero, you are not, your life is not a waste. You're not a failure. You just need to go and reach out to the right kind of people. Uh, find a good doctor, find a good therapist, find a confidant. And, you know, Anthony Olson, that was a good saying. You know, go out and, and have a dinner. You know, treat yourself lovingly. You are, you've got some good ideas and uh, you definitely, you know, are worthy of happiness. One day at a time, and this too shall pass, nothing lasts forever. Your words help so much, Douglas. Well, thank you, Marie. You have a beautiful name, by the way. Oh, don't worry about Mobius Zero. When I was 32, I was living with my parents. I had nothing to show for it. I was a late bloomer. Thank you, Susan McDonald. I love your little icons, and happy birthday to you too, whenever it is. Uh... Yeah, you found a, a church in Fong Springs you want to attend. They seem like kind of folks, diverse and kind. Yeah, there's a lot of good people around Palm Springs, actually. If only you could move somewhere near there in a place you can afford. Sorry you're, up, you're sad, Moby Zero, but go ahead and reach out. There are people out there who are loving and helpful. Maybe you should go to a depression chat room. Well, this is kind of one, isn't it? But those are open all the time. Well, I only have... What percent of battery on my Macintosh? 8% uh, battery, but guess what? We have 48 seconds left and we're done. Anthony Nelson says, I didn't have a full-time job till I was 30. I didn't have one till I was 35. Charlotte's Web is a strain of cannabis, one of the many used to make oils and extracts. You're absolutely right. It became famous because it helped this uh, girl in Colorado overcome horrible seizures. And that's how CBD oil got to be known worldwide because it helped this young girl who was getting like hundreds of seizures a day down to do. So, so actually CBD has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of epilepsy. Love, love, love Douglas Block. Well, look, I, yeah, great. Got one of my books. If you do, do you have uh, healing from depression? Thank you for this chat. Have a very good day in life. Thanks for everything of you. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronan, are you from Ireland? Ronan, I think, is an Irish name. Matronista, I love CBDO. I know a lot of people do. The guy is coming. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Hopefully some shekels. Well, guess what? One hour and 28 seconds. We're over the hour limit. 
Uh, anybody have any final questions? <clears throat> anybody want to say something inspirational? I'm going to look for one last joke. Give me a second. Where on earth have you been? <clears throat> What did the whale say to the dolphin? Long time no see, S-E-A. And finally, what did the, what happens when a cat eats a lemon? You get a sourpuss. I love the one about the earthworm. Where on earth have you been? <laughs> oh my God, that is fantastic. Well, Copenhagen, Denmark, I know I had a client from Copenhagen. I should call him up. The book is coming. I don't know what book you're referring to, but uh, is it, is it, are you sending it to me, little guy, or am I sending it to you? Puckered Puss, you like that, huh? Yeah, <clears throat> nice week to you, Aline. On Friday, I will be turning 70, the 22nd. Uh, send me some good thoughts. You know what you can do? Why don't you, some of you guys send me an e-card? Yeah. Send me an e-birthday card on February 22nd. Put it down in your calendar. Oh, you ordered from Amazon. Excellent. Let me know how you like it. And uh, meanwhile, douglasplug at gmail.com. Send me a birthday card if you want. And email any your questions. And those of you who gave money today, please email me your email address, and I will send you a copy of Self-Care Activities to Heal Your Mood. Practice good self-care. Love yourself. It's not your fault that you're depressed you're good people, all of you, as I am a good person. We are spiritual people having human experience, as Teilhard de Chardin would say. We are love, love, love. The universe is love. And on that note, I wish you all the best in your mental health recovery.